Well, my name is Connie Chan. I'm District One Supervisor, and welcome to the Richmond. You know, I'm a first generation immigrant. I came here uh, to San Francisco's Chinatown, in fact. Uh, when I was 13 years old with my mom and my brother. My first job is as a community organizer for public safety with San Francisco Safe. I eventually landed in City Hall and became a legislative aide to former supervisor Sophie Maxwell. I worked at many different city departments like the district attorney's office when uh, Kamala Harris was our district attorney. Eventually I ran for office and now I'm really proud to be representing the Richmond as its district supervisor. We have great neighborhood commercial corridors in the Richmond that really need to be protected. And it's the reason why we launched the neighborhood anchoring business, specifically prioritizing supports and resources for businesses that have been around for 15 years and more. We already have the legacy business program, which is for businesses that have been around for 30 years and more. But we thought, you know, we got to like make sure the next generations of small business continue to stay on for generations to come. My name is Roos. I'm the owner of Hamburger Haven. We just came back on July 11th. We're happy to be back. Hamburger Haven was open in 1968. At that time, I believe one of the owners of Mel's had started it. This went through a, a guy named Andy in the early 70s, and then my father took it over mid-70s, Majid Falahadi. Originally, it was just a burger joint. We were open late nights. Then it slowly changed over the years and became a breakfast staple. So we specialize in breakfast, brunch, and lunch right now. I absolutely love this neighborhood. I grew up here and it feels like home. I walk down the block, I recognize people. People say hello, you say hello back, you know, you talk, you joke. So it has that familial environment that is really enjoyable and I haven't experienced anywhere else. There are many things that I would love to continue to see improvements, but most importantly are some of the things that we don't quite see are making sure that our tenants stay housed, our small business to stay intact and thrive in our neighborhood. And those are the policy solutions that I'm going to continue to push to make sure you know, our community can take roots and stay here and thrive. I'm really proud of uh, you know welcoming folks to the Richmond. Everyone loves it because we got farmers market every Sunday there. But you also see some really uh, business that's been around. It's always like ice cream at Toy Boat and going to shop for books at Green Apple. And definitely like Giorgio is a pizza place that all families love. You will see a lot of great Chinese grocery shops that is readily available for everyone. And that is just the inner Richmond. There's so much more to do in the Richmond. What is beloved is the Papua Theater. My name's Adam Bergeron, and along with my wife Jamie, uh, own a little company called Cinema SF. We operate the Balboa Theater on Balboa Street, the Vogue Theater on Sacramento Street, and soon to be the Four Star Theater on Clement Street. Balboa Theater opened in 1926 and has been servicing this outer Richmond neighborhood continuously since then. And then close on its heels, the Four Star has been open since 1913. When you come into a movie theater, the rest of the world kind of has to be left behind, but you get immersed in this world that the filmmakers have made for you. And that's a special experience to have. We can all think of movies that we saw on the big screen with everybody, you know, screaming or laughing or crying or, you know, and it's a shared human experience that you get when you go into places that are gatherings and art is presented to you. I think the shared experiences is the most precious out of all of it. And the popcorn that we make, too. <laughs> At the Balboa, especially, 
We strive to have movies for people of every generation, from the Popcorn Palace movies that we show on the weekend mornings for families and for little kids. This is for everybody of all ages. What is great about the Richmond, it's really a neighborhood of the immigrants. It belongs to immigrants, but not just AAPI immigrants. You will see that uh, there's also a huge population of Russian and Ukrainian immigrants at this moment. Even in this world climate, they really stand united together. You will see that the support that they lend to each other as a community. And Cinderella Bakery is another legacy business in the Richmond. If you go on their website, it's known as a Russian bakery. But the first thing you will see is their uh, pledge to support the Ukrainian community. And so you will see the unity through and through in the Richmond. And so I'm so proud of our immigrants community in the Richmond. My dad, he immigrated from Iran, and the reason he stayed was because of the restaurant. It's something that it has more sentimental value for us, just because it's the reason that we are in this country. When he had the opportunity to take over the restaurant, he decided to stay, and that's the reason why we're, why we're here. It's, it's part of our family legacy, it's part of uh, San Francisco history, and we'd like to keep it going for years to come. Another moment that I'm really proud to be representing the Richmond, but also to be the only Asian American woman elected uh, in office, and also as an immigrant, fluent, uh, speaking in Mandarin and Cantonese, and that has not been happening in three decades. You're gonna see that, you know, it's really my ability to represent, especially the Asian American community, and in my case, definitely also the Chinese speaking elders in our community that really can allow me to communicate with them directly. My name is Calvin Yu. I'm the program director at the Adult Day Center. I have been working at Self Help for seven years, so I love this organization for helping community helping with the senior and also the people with disability. So I feel kind of connection with them because I am an immigrant and my parents are seniors. So I just love to helping our community and helping for people, a new immigrant, the English as second language, and seeing them get improvement for the physically and psychosocially. If you want nature, Richmond is also the neighborhood to go because we're sandwiched between uh, Ocean Beach, Sucho Heights, and Golden Gate Park. I love the outer Richmond. For me, this is the single best neighborhood in San Francisco. Everybody knows each other. People have been living here forever. It, it's, it's young and old. The ocean is really nearby. And so there's kind of that outdoors ocean vibe to it. There's plenty of places where you can see the Golden Gate Bridge, which is pretty amazing. The businesses are all small mom and pop businesses. Houses get passed down from generation to generation. It really has kind of a small town feel, but you know you're in a big city at the same time. It's really got this kind of a unique flavor to it that I don't see in any other neighborhood. And it is about being inclusive. We're always inclusive and welcoming the community. Anybody should be feeling welcome and they that be belong in the Richmond. And that we shop logo, we eat logo. We believe that with that support and that network, it comes in full circle. It is passing on your kindness. I think that's what Richmond is about, that we're together as one. So welcome to the Richmond.